obviously when you read a script, when you look at a script, it's daunting. It's like, oh my gosh, look at all these pages. But don't be afraid, it's, it's not scary. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Acting Up With G, that's me. My name is Georgia Grant Anderson and welcome to Three Steps to Approaching a Scratch. Okay, let's get started. So, number one rule. This is obvious, but you know what? I've met some people. <laughs> Read it. Read the script. Now, obviously you're like, what are you talking about? Obviously I'm going to read a script. If I've got a script, I'll read it. You'll be surprised to how much professional gigs I've shown up to and the other actors, well, maybe one, just haven't read the script. You'll be surprised going to auditions and meeting people there and those people haven't actually read the script. And you're like, huh? Apparently it's not obvious. Anyway, the whole reason you read a script is to be informed. You need to know what it's about. You need to know what the show's about, what the play's about. The what is going to happen, the events, you've got to know the characters, the different kind of characters that will be played, the different scenarios that's going to happen. You've got to know the journey, the journey of the whole script, how it's all been put together. Each characters have their own journey. You need to know how that correlates to your character's journey, how it correlates to the beginning, the middle, the end. You've got to basically, you've got to know your script. You've got to know it inside and out. Even if you don't know everybody's like specific journey inside and out, you've got to know the whole round of what is actually happening in the script, what is happening in the show, what the show's about, but you should know like your character's journey inside and out. Obviously, when you read a script, when you look at a script, it's daunting. It's like, oh my gosh, look at all these pages. But then reading it, you'll realize, oh, you know, it, it's like, it's, it's a story, isn't it? It's like watching a film. You start off, it's like a, a, an hour film, but then you watch the whole thing and it's all condensed and then it's in your brain. And it's like, oh yeah, that was like a, a whole hour of a film or two hours of a film and it's in your brain, you know, you could tell me from start to finish what had happened. Just like how you will with the script. It's a bit more daunting maybe because it's pages and words, but don't be afraid, it's, it's not scary. Yeah, so that is your first step, read your script. So once you've read your script, you've established if you like your script, you're, you have established if you like your characters, if you, if what you think is what's been put together, you think is all right. So once you've read it, you will know that and you can make a, a whole judgment, whether you're gonna go to your coworkers and your, your, your friends, your peers and say, I don't really like the script. Or you're gonna, oh my gosh, Lindsay, I love it. Yeah, you can make a judgment now. So step two your character's journey. So, for your character journey, now it's time to indulge. Now it's time that the script has layers, like now it has layers. Your skeleton, your basis, you read it, now it's time to put the flesh on, you know? You know, you got, you got the bones, now it's time to, yeah, you know what I'm talking, you know what I'm saying. So yeah, so you, it's time for your character, it's time to, figure out who you are so here we go on screen diagram now first of all write down your character's name who is your character what are you called then write a short description of your character is your character sweet is your character a nice person is your character funny is your character a class clown is your character enthusiastic what type of person is your character in a brief and small description, write down the type of person your character is. Now this is your foundation. This is your steps that you should always have in your head. Because we all know the type of people that we are, or not even us, that's even, that's, that's, it gets deep when you look inwards. If you look at your friends, you know what type of person your friend is. You could say, oh yeah, my friend Steven, 
he is the most funniest guy ever. He's such a class clown. He's full of life. So if you was ever to impersonate Stephen, you'd be all big and full of life like Stephen is. But on the other hand, your friend Charlotte over there, your friend Charlotte is quite shy. She's quite quiet, timid, very loving person. But she's she's very, very, very inwards. So you would not, if you was to impersonate Charlotte, you would not be all big and stuff you'd bring it down because Charlotte is more inward so this is your time to basically see if your character is outward inward leftward rightward yeah once you've done that now you can look more into it now you write down their obstacles the basics of what is happening so in this script that I am doing I'm doing this for pineapple performing art but it's been postponed because of the issues that are happening today um so for this script um my objective so write down objective is to be married my objective in this script my character's objective is to be married the obstacles are the my fiance's family so the mother-in-law doesn't like me his sister doesn't like me also i my job is seen to be beneath them as i am a cabaret singer therefore they do not approve so these are my major obstacles okay this is basically what fleshes out your character okay you need to know where the mindset of your character where you're going if in a scene my mother-in-law is being awful to me you know and i really want her to prove of me because i love her son I, my whole persona, no, no, it doesn't matter what type of person, if I'm a shy person, if I'm a really outgoing person, my, my persona would be to impress, okay? So everything that I might say in that scene, depending on the circumstances, I would want to impress her. So the whole time I might just be like, you know, big smiles, even if I'm like a, a shy person, I might, you know, give a little smile like, oh yeah da, 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 da. yeah um if i'm an outgoing person i might be really you know like try to embrace her and stuff but you know because she doesn't like me and it's obvious i really want to impress her so i might not be too big i might dim it down because she might prefer me to be dimmed down now once you have that you've read your script you know what's going on you know your character the backstory etc it's time to play around Play around with your character, discover your character, discover what your character sounds like. Is your character a really slow and dreary person, quite monotone and quite boring to listen to? Is your character really big and full of life and loving and always smiling? Does she have a warmth in her voice? Is your character really miserable and depressed about life and everything hurts? Discover how your character sounds their pitch are they always up and always high or are they usually low the pitches discuss, decide what, what does your character sound like what are their mannerisms do they have a thing to avoid eye contact all the time do they have annoying things because they're like a very uh annoying sounds that they like to make <laughs> mannerisms do they always flick their hair back because they're really vain or maybe they always hide in their face because they're quite insecure in many ways figure out mannerisms that your character will have play around with it say your lines say your lines in those type of ways if my line for example first line okay <clears throat> Please, Cassandra, if anyone calls me Rose, I think I've done something wrong. It's Rosie. I know my character is quite sweet and bubbly. She is not, she's very outgoing because she is a cabaret singer. She also wants to impress this lady, okay? So, she's quite passive aggressive, I believe in this. You know, she's t telling her like, don't call me Rose, bruv. Don't call me Rose. Call me Rosie, but in a nice way. <laughs> so, so it's not forceful, it's, <clears throat> oh, please, Cassandra. If anyone calls me Rose, I think I've done something wrong. It's Rosie. It's forceful, but it's rained back because she's a nice person. She wants her to like her. Nah. How's your character talk? So play with those lines. So, for example, for that exact line, how does Rosie sound, my character? How does Rosie sound? Oh, please, Cassandra. If anyone calls me Rose, I think I've done something wrong. She's not, I don't think she's that type of person. 
Is she a... Uh, these roses. Some, nah, I don't think she's there. Please, Ro... Please, Cassandra. This is what the process should look like. This is me. You should be mimicking me right now. Well, you don't have to, but, like, if you want to get to that place, trial and error, keep going. Try so many different ways until you get to the way that is the truth. The truth of your character, you know? Acting is all about, even though, like, it's not you, you're finding the truth in the moment, in the scene, in the character. You're finding that person's truth. Do you get what I'm saying? So, um... Yeah, yeah, that is that is number three. Play around with your script. Say, go through it, like, go through the lines and say them in different type of ways. Really find your character, find that grounding, who they are, do your research, okay? So next time when you come to rehearsals, you go on set, whatever it may be, you can be like, oh yeah, no, I've done my research. I know my character inside and out. What did my character eat yesterday? He had spaghetti bolognese because he loved it. What did my character have? had uh, have two days ago well he didn't have chicken because he's a vegetarian do you know what i'm saying you gotta find the truth in your character because at the end of the day yeah they're characters but the writer wants this to be real your audience wants this to be real make that character make that that those lines become alive make it thrive do it make it come alive make it become something do you get one? Do you get one? I'm sorry. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was wonderful doing it. I didn't realize how passionate I was about approaching the script. <laughs> Please bear in mind, this video is about approaching the script, okay? This is your first glance. These are the three steps that you should be looking at once you've got your script, and this is how to start the process of really indulging in that script. So, um, yeah, that's approaching a script, okay? I hope that video helped you guys and you're able to decide how you're gonna go about your next script please guys like this video even if you didn't please share this video around if it didn't benefit you it probably would benefit somebody else please leave a comment if you have any questions for me anything to say anything you picked up on please let me know also please comment content that you would like to see is i am like oh what shall i post now please comment content okay if you want something if you want to know something if you want to see something even if it's not exactly acting related please leave a comment and let me know what you want to see so i can give to you at the end of the day i'm supposed be like your entertainment i'm here for you you know what i'm saying so uh yeah yeah leave a comment let me know what you want um did i say all oh, share like comment subscribe subscribe make sure you subscribe just subscribe to this channel i'm coming back with more exciting things all about the industry do's don'ts everything okay have a wonderful day guys and see you next time